Hello, I'm Therese Sassalos. On behalf of myself and my co-author, Dr. Yanis Paulus, I'm happy to present our video abstract regarding our work on the use of the pre-filled syringe for intravitreal drug delivery. The advent of antivascular endothelial growth factor, or anti-VEGF, injections have revolutionized the treatment for retinal diseases ranging from exudative macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, and retinal vein occlusions. In fact, randomized clinical trials have demonstrated the efficacy of these treatments, both in terms of visual gains, as well as maintaining visual acuities. Three commonly used anti-VEGF agents in retinal clinics across the U.S. include bevacizumab, or Evastin, ranibizumab, or Lucentis, and aflibercept, or ILEA. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved the use of ranibizumab in a pre-filled syringe at a dose of 0.5 and 0.3 milligrams, respectively, in 2016 and 2018. Our review summarizes the literature regarding the use of ranibizumab via the pre-filled syringe, both in terms of the implications of this treatment and this innovation on intravitreal injection technique, as well as clinical practice patterns. The typical ranibizumab injection setup involves the following. Removal of the drug vial cap, disinfection of the drug vial top, placement of a filtered needle on a sterile syringe, drawing or aspiration of the medicine into the syringe hub, removal of the filter needle and replacement with a smaller gauge injection needle, venting and removal of air bubbles, volume adjustment, and finally, administration. In contrast, use of the pre-filled syringe involves the following setup. Removal of the syringe cap, placement of a small gauge injection needle, volume adjustment, and administration. The pre-filled syringe greatly reduces the number of steps involved in intravitreal drug delivery. As such, it is thought to decrease injection time, theoretically decrease the risk of endophthalmitis. Additional design features of the pre-filled syringe include improved accuracy and precision of ranibizumab drug dosing, as well as theoretically decreasing the number of intraocular air bubbles and silicone oil droplets. Finally, we propose a theoretical disadvantage of the drug-slash-syringe assembly in terms of contamination.